Because of the global pandemic, a lot of us are spending more time alone than we normally do. The thing is, the 20th century political theorist Hannah Arendt argued that the truly thoughtful person, the one who thinks deeply and philosophically, uh, is never truly alone. Uh, philosophy begins in dialogue, the great platonic dialogues where Socrates argues with his interlocutor. But the solitary thoughtful person is, is her own interlocutor, engages in internal dialogue with him or herself, to, and, and, and questions, just as Socrates questioned, all of her most fundamental beliefs and commitments. Engaging in this kind of thoughtful reflection isn't just a way to keep yourself company during quarantine, though. It's of profound political importance. Hannah Arendt was a German-Jewish refugee who fled the to the United States in the, in the middle of the 20th century and devoted the rest of her career to trying to figure out what went wrong in Nazi Germany. And her answer was thoughtlessness. Because the German people were mesmerized, were, were ingrained in, in unthinking habits, in slogans, in cliches, they were unable to think and judge and act independently. So when you end those thoughtless habits, when you begin the difficult, often solitary process of reflection, you have rendered yourself free and less easily manipulated by those with power. And that's one less person for the authorities to use and abuse for their own political purposes. So for that reason, while you're stuck at home alone, try thinking. It's the best antidote to fascism.